Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're taking a look at the Nike Run All Day 2. What's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave us today and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including the link to where you can get these, the Run All Day Nike Running Shoe. Now we're doing a bit of a mini series on the channel. If you've not seen any of the other videos, I'd recommend you check them out. But we're looking at Nike affordable running shoes. So today we're gonna be checking out the Run All Day to find out whether it's any good. Right guys, so here it is, the Run All Day version 2. Now this shoe is £55 on the Nike website, but I actually got it for £47. And if you shop about, you can probably get it cheaper. Um, let's get into some of the stats and some of the features of it uh, before we decide if it is any good or if it's a load of toilet. Um, this shoe weighs 10 and a half ounces. I'm a UK nine and a half and it fits true to size. I've got no problems in terms of width in this shoe. Um, You've got a 10 mil offset. Uh, what else do we need to know? You've got um, a reasonable rubber outsole on it. Uh, this shoe, according to Nike, is all about support um, and breathability, which, okay, we'll come on to that in a second. But it's, as I say, it's designed really for the casual runner more than anything else. Uh, you've got foam, it just says a foam cushioning um, in the midsole. It doesn't mention any sort of particular uh, foam that they've used, so it's just, a basic foam on the midsole, uh, and that's probably about it. I mean, this is as about as basic as you can get, but what do you expect for under 50 quid? You've got some synthetic rubber on the front to add a bit of, um, what's the word? Uh, not, <laughs> I was gonna say stability, that's totally the wrong word. Some support and, and some, I don't know, just to help you out at the front, just to uh, add for wear and tear and things like that, a bit of structure. Uh, you've got a pull tab on the back, which is useful for putting them on. Uh, there's plenty of foam around the heel. Uh, it's kind of looks a bit like a Pegasus, the way they've uh, swished that away. Uh, the foam in the tongue is, you know, right thickness. The laces are a bit weird. They're this kind of thin thing, but they're quite, cheap feeling but in fairness they do lace down well um i've had no issues in terms of locking the shoe down the outsole i ran these in the wet today um which uh, saved me time so they didn't have to clean them uh but you know what they held up all right i wasn't slipping around or anything like that obviously this is not gonna you know um have as good a wear and tear as something like a pegasus shield or you know the higher quality shoes from nike but you know what it does the job um, in terms of traction. And I was pleased that I got out there in the rain and running them just to give you a little bit of feedback. Uh, the upper, uh, I mentioned it earlier, it's quite thick. Um, it's not the most breathable upper in the world, but again, you've got to remember the price point here. Um, but does it do the job? Yes. In terms of quality, actually, for the price, I think it's actually well put together. Um, better than the Pegasus 37, which is over a hundred pounds. Um, there's no like glue strain all over the place or, or stitching or anything like that that's that's wonky the actual quality i found is is spot on to be honest with you but how does it feel well it was kind of well it wasn't brilliant okay it just it felt lifeless it felt dead and there wasn't it was quite hard on my feet okay i'm coming at it from a different perspective i obviously i'm very lucky with all the shoes that i try and i have and everything like that so um, I'm trying to give you as much honest feedback as I can. I just, it just felt for me a bit lifeless, a bit, a, a bit hard and just a bit dead to my foot. There was nothing coming back from this foam at all. It was, and it's quite hard. Look, do you see, look, there's, there's nothing in there. There's nothing. So it's, uh, it's quite a firm ride. Is that a bad thing? I don't know, it depends. I think, you know, like we said in the other videos, these shoes are designed for people who are just getting into running or, or casual runners. So does this shoe offer something? Yes, it does. But I think the other Nike shoes in the range, the sort of cheaper ones, are better than this shoe. Um, and I'll probably do a video comparing all of them because I think there are other shoes in the Nike lineup that are 
just as cheap-ish that are actually better than the run all day too.